Hey Dumblies, this is Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into a photo of RM's shoulder tattoo apparently and a picture that has made armies go crazy because he shows a bit more than he usually does. Also, I wanted to get into V's admitted celebrity crush and why she is getting hate now. So hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on, grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into it. The first thing that I wanted to get into is RM's possible shoulder tattoo, what it means and if it's a tattoo at all. So recently RM was announced that he was one of the members that got COVID. Fortunately, he didn't really show much symptoms and probably isn't suffering much, but it's just quarantine. So no more suffering than what the rest of us are dealing with. But I think Arm wanted to keep his Instagram feed going and really post more nice stuff. He has kind of been on a roll with that stuff lately. So Arm posted the last photo he had before quarantine and it was apparently a photo of Jimin who has silver highlights. That's pretty cool. Jimin appears to be sleeping and it's funny because there's probably tons of these types of photos in each of the members' phones, which means if they auction off these phones, they will never have to work another day in their life. Although they probably don't have to already right now. But anyway, RM left a caption or comment that said that this was his last photo to post. And then J-Hope left a comment and talked about how he had a photo of RM to which RM replied that he needed to get a Polaroid. Now, if you haven't kept up with the show in the soup season two, we can watch it together on my Patreon link below. You may not know that J-Hope got a Polaroid for the season and was taking pictures of the members. And it was all very fun. This is likely what RM was referencing as those photos wouldn't be as awesome without a Polaroid. J-Hope went ahead and instead of sending the photos to RM for him to post or to decide not to post if RM didn't want to, J-Hope went ahead and posted the photo to his Insta story. And the photo that we saw killed us all. RM is wearing a tank top. You can see how buff he's looking already with his big arms and pecs. There were some theories of a nipple piercing and those sorts of things, but you can't see any of that. And it doesn't appear to be anything like that to me. However, the most notable thing that we see is whatever the hack is on RM's arm. It looks like some tape, but when you get a tattoo freshly done, depending on the artist or the shop, they cover it with different things. So they'll put tape, saran wrap, or I've seen paper towels. So the tape that we could see could mean the tattoo was fresh. At least this is the theory. But of course the theory could simply be if it was just a tape, he thought it was a cool design and just put it there. But then there's armies that looked deeper and saw that past the tape, right on the upper shoulder, there was a black or dark spot. This appears to be a tattoo. Now this wasn't the first time we saw an alleged tattoo on the arm. During a recent concert BTS was performing as they do in concerts and RM showed his shoulder and arm in a part of the song and we saw a tattoo there. But BTS is no stranger to stage tattoos or fake tattoos just for when they're on stage or dancing. So most armies didn't think much but the possibility of this being a real tattoo now is much bigger. We won't know until RM comes out and confirms himself. People are trying to figure out what this tattoo meant and what it was a tattoo. Up. We have some closer photos from a previous concert and it appears to be a snake tattoo. There is a possibility of RM just getting a tattoo because he thinks it looks cool, but typically, if you're curious, a snake tattoo resembles rebirth, patience, and power, all of which he definitely has. Rebirth is a big one and it probably means a lot to RM because typically it's to signify significant change in someone's life. So they'll get it after that big change. RM is a different person now after COVID. The boys talk about how difficult it has been since going through through the pandemic and likely they have all grown and changed so much along with their perspectives. I imagine it's a lot different from their way of thinking. I don't know if their thought process is the same as mine, but for me, work and career was number one above relationships and family and everything. It didn't take long throughout the pandemic did I realize work wasn't going to be something that was solely going to make me happy and I needed to work on my relationships with people. And given that the boys have worked so much in their life, they may be putting some Something like family or friends closer to them now. At least I hope so. Also health, I think more people are valuing that over working and putting that first, which I know RM is too now or again, I hope so. We know how the boys literally work without sleep and strain themselves. I don't want to say that they can't do anything. They can't. They can literally not sleep for five days and just keep practicing and they'll be amazing. But I think what the pandemic has taught us is why. Why are we working so much? Or having so many sleepless nights? Or for money? Money doesn't buy health or time and it definitely doesn't buy time you could spend with your family or friends. People online were also mad. They were pissed and excited at the same time. People were dying and freaking out over this tattoo and also the fact that RM even showed his arm and shoulders in a photo. Usually when Big Hit or High posts something and BTS happens to be shirtless or whatever, they'll cover the boys with an emoji or censor the boys' body parts. And even if it's something like nipples or belly button, I can understand nipples but belly button it should be fine. So when we actually get to see 
see the boy's arms or even forehead, it becomes a big trend on social media and everyone is talking about it. I love that this was posted and we got to see something that is so cool and beautiful. I hope it is a real tattoo and he absolutely loves it and shows it constantly. Recently, both RM and V have shared so much on social media. RM also shared him watching the new TV show called Emily in Paris. He posted it on Instagram story and V posted it on his feed. And the show gave homage to BTS and sang their song Dynamite. But V also admitted not too long ago that his celebrity crush or favorite actress were Rachel McAdams, who is the most beautiful person I've ever seen, and also Lily Collins, who is gorgeous too. V posted on his Instagram the clip from Emily in Paris and Lily Collins actually reshared it. And this was probably so exciting for V, like that his crush has acknowledged him. I do wonder if Lily knows of the clip that V said he liked her. Now I know who Rachel McAdams is, but I was never familiar with Lily, but both of them play a lot of romantic comedies, meaning it's interesting V is such a big fan of romantic films. Now, V might actually have an easier time dating a non-Korean person because while they'll still get death threats, the culture is so different and they'll get less death threats. Because let's say V dates someone, the toxic BTS fans will send death threats, but also the fans of the girl idol will also send, and then the girl will lose her career. But if the girl is American or British, everything will be as normal. You'll just deal with these annoying toxic BTS quote unquote fans for a few months and then you're good. Now whatever V and Lily will do next is totally up for speculation. Either collab or have a lunch date, we don't know. But I was definitely surprised at the people who were thinking the two were already dating. You won't have to look far, but if you go to the Emily in Paris Instagram account, you'll see comments threatening Lily, I guess. It's so stupid because the Emily in Paris Instagram account is a brand account. It's not a personal one. Lily Collins probably doesn't run that account, but these haters will write in the comments, you stay away from V. You as in the whole production company or the social media person. I was seeing one person write something along the lines of, I don't want to hate you, but stay away from V. And this person literally expects the account to respond back, this a multi-million dollar TV conglomerate company to respond back and be like, okay, we're not going to be with V. Meanwhile, the show has nothing to do with V. Like V isn't in it. He just watched the show. And when I read hate comments about myself or anyone in K-pop, these are the comments I read. And you see how like half of their brain is there. They don't realize who they're talking to and what they're saying. What do they expect the results to be from leaving the comment? And these are the people that aren't just sitting there leaving this comment. They're genuinely furious and mad and stomping their feet over this. It's just so immature and they think they're doing God's work by leaving these comments and messages. When in reality, most people see them as dumb. And this is why K-pop gets such a bad rep. Because if the social media team sees comments like this, that gives those people more of a reason to be like, oh yeah, I'm never gonna listen to BTS. And it's so sudden. It's like if you were in your time tiny cottage without internet connection, knitting at your kitchen table, and some five-year-old comes and stomps in and it's like, get away from V. It feels literally like that. The show has one segment related to BTS. It's not about BTS. It's about social media and fashion. Of course, claims of the show or Lily using BTS for clout probably exist, but those claims will exist for people even just mentioning BTS's name. So it's so frustrating now when people who don't deserve to have a platform to speak get one. And it's available to anyone. Anyone can literally just make a post and it'll go viral. And I bet somewhere in the deep depths of the internet, there exists a group of people who are attacking the show because of a small interaction V made to the show. It's gross. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see more K-pop reaction videos, go to my Patreon, link below. I can't post them here due to copyright, but you can get all sorts of reaction videos and requests over there. It's a great way to support the channel even more if you would like to. Thank you so much for this lovely comment right here. I love it so much. There'll be two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video and I'll see you over there.